welcome to the Holy Yogi, where we help you find the guru inside of you. Hello, beautiful. Hello, handsome. How you doing today? And if no one has told you today that they love you, mwah, I love you. <laughs> Why, it's simply put, Da Yogi Tribe, we know the deal. We know that love makes the world go round. Love always wins. In God, there is love, and love is God. And love makes the world go round and round and round. Hey, everybody, so glad to have you here today. It's Elon Bomani, the Pajama Mama. And we're here today to provide you with some phenomenal information that's going to help you become spiritually enlightened angels for the world. But first, we got to do one thing before I say another word. You got to like, you got to comment, you got to subscribe and hit that notification button. Ding, 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 ding. So you know when I have some phenomenal, great, good news to share with you. Because in the word good is God. And once again, it can't get any better than that. So let's talk about how a foul mouth will create a foul life. Hmm, what is Elon talking about? I, I've shared with you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, many times before on how um, your words create your world. The type of words that you're saying on a daily basis create the type of life that you will be experiencing. They say that the average person speaks 50 to 60,000 words a day. I know, right? That's a whole lot. Wow. <laughs> that's six, 60 to 50,000 words a day. And they say that 97% of those words are what they said yesterday or the day before that. And more importantly, they're negative words. So if you're saying negative words every single day, you're living what? A negative life. And you're having what? Negative experiences. And then that's where drama happens, yada, 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 yada. Need I say that anymore? So, with understanding and knowing that, let me share with you a story on how I really got it, okay? In a nutshell, about when I was in my early 20s, I'll never forget this as long as I live because it, may, it paid and it made a profound impact on my life. And that is that I was dating a gentleman, a very nice guy, and I think we were maybe out on our maybe second or maybe third date. And I'm just running my mouth. And I can never forget, we were inside of my apartment and I was talking about something and he stopped and he looked at me. And he said so earnestly, for such a pretty girl, you have such an ugly mouth. I stopped. And I'll be honest with you. I don't know what I said in response to that. But I know one thing, I didn't get angry I didn't get upset. I think, I think most importantly, I got quiet. But from that day forward, I never used a profane word again because I got it. And then I started to dig deeper. Why was I using profanity so much? Why was I cursing and using such, and you know, curse words, profane words are very ugly, very hateful, very angry words. And that's when I realized that I was a very angry, unhappy person. I was angry that my father wasn't in my life. I was angry that my mother was in my life. I was angry about a lot of things. Angry at the fact that my school wasn't going well. Angry, just, it's just it drama. I was angry that I was working harder than the money that I was making. It was a world of such stress and such pain but then it makes a whole lot of sense because I was creating 
all that anger and that hate. And that's why I was experiencing such a poor, unhappy life because of the unhappy, poor words of choice that I was making. And of choice, keyword is choice, based upon those choices of words that I was using. That's the type of life that I was living. So I was very clear that if I wanted to live a more happy, healthy life, I had to speak into my life more happy and healthy words. And it wasn't, like I said, not so much, even though I stopped saying those words, doesn't necessarily mean I was not thinking those words. (laughs) Because years later, hello, here we go again. It shows up in every shape, form, or fashion. Even at subconscious level, it showed up for me later on in life, cancer. Aha. So as you can see, that is so important that you do not reflect those words because maybe you are living in a profane world. (laughs) All your friends, all your family members, everybody that you see, you see it on TV. You know, I know there's a positive motivational speaker out there named Gary V and part of his you know, image is that he uses curse words throughout the whole entire interview or the speaking engagements, etc. And he says that's V, and so everybody's gotten to the Gary V because it's made him famous because he's thinking what people are thinking and all that kind of wonderful stuff. But Gary V, I promise you, with that type of lifestyle, with that type of attitude, he's gonna go but so far. And I know what his goal is to do, and you gotta be a billionaire in order to accomplish that. Boy, I promise you, he won't get there because he's blocking his energy with those bad words that he's choosing to say in his life. It's just real simple. Life gives to you what you say, etc. Even we have a president of the United States in America who's using his Billy Pulpit to use profane words, calling people MFers and the like, etc. And He's having an MF of a presidency. (laughs) I mean, that's how it works. It's going to come back to bite you. You're going to get away with it for a long period of time, but it always catches up with you. And like I said, when that karma hits, woohoo, it really hits. So the bottom line is change your words and you change your world. And like I said, I developed cancer from that. So that anger and resentment incarnates is going to come out in some shape, form, or fashion because your cells have their own intelligence. And when you bring those angry words into your cells and thoughts and things of that nature, it will produce a dis-ease within the body. So you can't get away from it. The best thing you can do instead of reflecting those words back out, because remember, it vibrates back to you. You become the foul words that you're talking about. The B's and the D's and the (laughs) S-H-I-T's. All those things come back to hit you. And you say, I wonder why this is happening to me. Okay. Your words create your world. You choose to have a foul, dirty mouth. Well, the universe is not going to wash out your mouth with soap like your mama would do. Ah, but it's going to wash up your life (laughs) to the point where you're going to be in muck and you're going to be immersed. So now that we know that we need to change our words, because I'll be honest with you, they're few, far, and in between with me. And more importantly, I only use them when I'm trying to make a point to try to illustrate particularly to my children because they hear me and they say mom but I get their attention and I remind them that those same words they have a problem with mom saying them but I was using an example to the curse words that they hear on those rap records that they listen to and the movies that they watch and the games that they play on the Xbox or whatever box that they have available to them. If it's a problem with mom saying them, the holy yogi saying them, why is it not a problem with the life that they're living and even they saying them behind mama's back? Let's keep it real. 
So that's what I want you to understand. That what goes around, it comes around. So watch your words because they create your world. So let's have a world of worlds of peace, love, joy, and happiness in our meditation, minute meditation for today. Mm. Dear Heavenly Spirit, Divine Gracious Mother, Father God, thank you so much for the message of today. I speak into my life words of love, peace, happiness, and joy. And as I speak those words into my life, I speak it into life of everyone throughout the world and especially thy tribe. Peace and light, everybody. Have a phenomenal day today. I see you on the other side. Peace.